Hey everyone, welcome back to our Lady Secrets channel. I'm Yesenia and this is Ilani. Thank you guys so much for all your comments, your feedback, and your likes from our first video. And if you yet haven't watched that video, make sure you check the description box below to watch it. So like we promised in our last video, today we will be announcing the winner of our giveaway. So stay tuned till the end of the video to find out who won. And for today's video, we'll be talking about bouquet, petticoats, crowns, and shoes. For this portion of the video, we're going to be showing you guys what type of petticoat to choose and what type of petticoat to wear with your quinceanera dress. So as you can see, you should always put your petticoat around your waist, not your hips. Your waist is up here, your hips are down here. So it should always be on your hips or above. Make sure you tie it really tight because it could probably fall. So the petticoat that she is actually wearing right now is a seven hoop skirt with a tool on top. This is the biggest petticoat there is and that does a major lift. Now remember, if you want something bigger than this, you can always have this petticoat. This is just an add-on to make it bigger and voluminous. So now remember that this big add-on petticoat should always be added on top not under the petticoat. A really important tip is that you should always add this big tool petticoat on top of the wire petticoat, not under, because if you add it under, it's just gonna add discomfort to your body and you're not gonna be happy at all. With my experience here working at Lady Secrets, I've noticed that a lot of the girls tend to go for the two petticoats because it gives it more volume and it makes it look prettier. It also avoids the cost of alteration. A good example of a dress that you would need two petticoats for is a charro dress. Those are very heavy and they'll put a lot of weight on the crinolina, so two would be a good fit just to give it a little bit more volume and lift the dress, especially if you're a little bit on the shorter side. Because remember, charro dresses have much more embroidery to them than any of the other dresses. So I really hope that was very informative for you guys. Really took that in because it is very important to know which petticoat you need. And now, going on to the second most important thing for your quinceañera is the bouquet. Choosing the bouquet also plays a big role when you're selecting your dress because there are many tones to it, so you can have the right dress and it could be perfect and then buy the, the bouquet separately and it could be a completely different tone to your dress once they're together. As a matter of fact, it is very important when choosing your bouquet because there are different colors and styles to the bouquet. Yeah, and it's very important to have the bouquet, the dress, and the crown specifically for pre-pictures. So that's also another thing to keep in mind. And with that said, let's dive into bouquets. As you can see here, we have two very different type of bouquets. We have the long bouquet. And we have the small bouquet. The long bouquet is really special because you should always have the thinner part facing down. Because if you have it facing like this, you have the risk of hitting yourself. With the round one, it is very simple, but it's really pretty. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that the round one is already decorated in the back, and this one isn't. So it's just a handle that you can have a little bit of grip grasp on. to. And this one, you can have a lot of grip. Also remember, if your dress has gold and not silver, you could always ask if any of these bouquets could be made with aqua and gold instead of aqua and silver, just as the round one could be made with burgundy and gold instead of burgundy and silver. Yes, and it also does come down to your preference. Some people like the round ones because they're smaller, they're handy, and some people do like the longer ones. Because it does cover more on your dress. And it's just exaggerated a little bit more, so if that's what you're looking for, then that's perfect. And here is a really good example of a bouquet with gold accents. So both of these have silver accents. All of the dresses are either gold or silver on the detailing of them. So it all goes down to the color of your dress and the accent that you're going with. So if your quinceanera dress is this color, but it has silver on it, you could just ask for the gold accents to be silver instead of gold. Yeah, and another really cool thing that I wanted to show you is that you could also get different size handles, whatever you're comfortable with. Obviously this one's a little bit more light, this one's a little heavier, so it just goes down to how you're comfortable. A really good tip 
is to not get a bouquet the same exact color of your quinceanera dress because when you have your photo shoot and you have it really close to your quinceanera dress, it can get lost in the dress. And we're gonna give you a few examples of how to hold the bouquet while you're taking pictures. You also have to think about the size because with the size, you're limited to how many poses you can do with the bouquet. For example, this one is decorated on the bottom and it's very small so you can use it more ways. In a photo shoot, as to that one, you have to keep it very low. Because you can't just have it up here because it's just a weird angle to be holding it at. And the back isn't decorated, so if you do show the back of it, it won't look very nice. As to this, it is decorated, the handle's decorated, and it's just perfect for any angle of photo shoots. So now that we've given you all of that information, we're gonna go into crowns and tiaras. So do you want to feel like a princess or a queen? You decide. And now moving on, we have crowns. A quick disclaimer, if you hear noise in the background, please excuse us. We are still in working business hours, so you are going to hear plenty of movement and noise. Not a lot of people may know, but there are two types of styles. There is a crown, which is completely round, and there is a tiara, which is open and adjustable. As you can see, we have a gold, we have a silver, and we have a rose gold. There are also crowns that come in different colors. For example, this is a silver AB, and this is a silver clear. The clear is the rhinestones that come in a clear color. Now that you saw the styles and the colors of the crown, you should also see what types of combined colors come with the crown. For example, this is a silver AB crown, and this is a gold AB. So what AB is, is this crystal here. As you can tell, there's a lot of rainbow color to it. And we also have clear. So now that you guys do know that and have that information, you can mix and match the stone. So for example, if you really like this tiara, but you want the AB with it, you can also do that. So another thing that I also wanted to show you guys is the size of the crown. So this one is one of our bigger ones. This one right here and this one are medium size. And this one is one of our smaller ones. There are also headpieces that you could wear before your party. You could wear these for like the ceremony or for a pre-photo shoot if you don't want to wear the crown for the photo shoot. It is really recommended that you wear your crown for your photo shoot so it can be in the big picture when you come into your venue. But there are also little headpieces that you could wear for your ceremony before your party. For example, this one goes right here on the forehead and this is a silver one. And right here, we have a gold AB, and this is a silver clear. Honestly, when it comes down to choosing your crown, it goes down to preference, but you also have to keep in mind that it does have to go with the dress. So for example, if your dress is pink and silver, you should go for a silver and AB crown because it's silver from the bottom, and it has pink accents to it. Once you have chosen your crown you also have to keep in mind that you have to stay in touch with your hairstylist because you don't want to get a huge crown with an updo and have it not fit the day of your party or a tip is come in to look for crowns take a picture about of about three or four take them to your hairstylist and ask if they could put a certain type of crown with the hairstyle you should always stay open-minded to having about two or three different hairstyles just about us having two to three crowns to choose from because there are some hairstyles that don't go with the round crown and there are hairstyles that go that don't go with the tiara so you should always be open-minded to having about two to three different styles in a later video we will have one of our makeup and hair stylists come in and give you a little bit more in depth of the crowns and makeup but that's later on so Stay tuned. This portion of the video will be announcing the giveaway winner. So drum roll, please. The winner is... Congrats to the winner of this beautiful crown. Make sure to tag us in any of social media posts with this crown. Now on to the shoes. Choosing your shoes is really important because this is what you're going to be wearing all night. Let me give you a few examples. Here I have a few examples of the type of heels that you can choose from. 
right here I have this really low heel the wedge styled heel the medium styled heel and the high heel I would recommend you to buy at least maybe two pair of heels if you want to be comfortable all day I would recommend buying something like this something small because you could wear these for your ceremony and your party but then as well you could buy something a little bit higher for your father-daughter dance where you can use these for looks instead of comfortability if you're comfortable with wearing something like this then go for it because these are really stunning and they'll make you look a lot taller but what I would recommend is try to break them in two to three weeks prior to your quinceanera so they can be comfortable the day of your party and you should do that with any type of heel not just a high heel but you could do that with a low heel as well because any type of heel could hurt you all night but what you can also do is if you're just tired of wearing heels all night by the end of the night you could always just switch to tennis shoes for example converse or vans that you could get custom made to your desire and here at Lady Secrets we've seen that a lot of girls like to go for these type of heels because they're comfortable and they're really pretty so they go for comfortability and the looks if you guys do have any questions about any of the heels that I talked about make sure to leave a comment down below because we do read your comments and we like to look out for you guys also if you guys would like to see any other topics in our channel let me know in the comments down below in conclusion you should always try on different style of heels to see what you're more comfortable with wearing Make sure to stay tuned for our next video. We'll be helping a lady secret customer choose her quinceanera.